Hi everyone, it's great to see you again in a new video. Today we are going to discuss a lot of tips and tricks to do in your fog in order to make your environment look more deep and have this cinematic feeling and get rid of the flatness of any environment you are working on. We will discuss a lot of techniques used in fog to move it from the basic or entry level to more advanced level. But before we start, I wanted to say that this video is sponsored by Laertes Studio and they are offering a great bundle for both Unreal Engine and Unity. You will get access to all of these packs in your engine right away to start using them in your environments. Also, they provide a lot of tools and plugins to be added in the engine as well. All of these bundles are limited and you don't want to spend a lot of thousands of dollars on them. And instead you will get each bundle for a hundred bucks and you can even get more discounted offer with a discount code. I will leave it to you in the description right below. So don't hesitate to take this chance and download these projects with this awesome offer. These are awesome packs and you can use them for your projects, whether if you are indie developer, independent developer or a studio, you have the rights to use them in your project. Let's get back to the video and discuss more about the fog techniques I used in that project. Let's start with the exponential height fog, which is a very basic actor found in the engine default actors. It's under VFX, Exponential Height Fog. You can drag and drop it into your scene and start seeing the effect of it. But be aware while you are using it because the position of it changes the result. What does that mean is if we are going to move it on the Z axis up and down, the effect of it on the environment will be different. So make sure you don't place it in a way that your environment is very flat, the fog is everywhere and it's so dense that you cannot see anything and it's all blended together. And if that happened, you can always change the fall off of it. So you can make it more blended or more like of a thin line of the fog. It's from this option, which is fog height fall off. Notice when we are increasing the intensity or the multiplier of it, the fog level decreases and the blending is not as before. So I'm trying to make it in a higher value. And if I dragged it a bit on the Z axis, you notice now it's more of a thick line. It's not blended as before, like this, almost everywhere in the environment, and it's blending a lot of objects together. So this option will help you to fix the issue of the blending. Second option is the fog density, and that basically means amount of the fog in your environment. The higher the value, the more dense and the more fog you will see in the environment. For example, if I'm going to use one, now you see it's completely black because of the color of it. So if I change it, the color a bit, it doesn't change also because of the volumetric fog. If I disabled it, now it's respecting the fog in scattering color. So if I'm going to change it for different colors, environment is very dense with fog. I cannot see any detail of it. It's very misty and this is not good at all. So we have to keep it on a very good value for our environment and we don't have to make it very thick or dense in order to see the details of our environment. But right now it's still a bit flat and there's not a lot of lights or contrast in our scene. That's because of the lack of our fake lights in our environment. But before going into the fake lights, let's start first with the volumetric fog. You have to use it in your environment because it adds a lot of depth for your scene. And also you can use it with other light sources and get the effect of the god rays or the light shafts, which adds a lot of cinematic feeling to your lights and environment. Now we have another folder of the fake lights. It adds a lot of depth to our environment, a lot of contrast and some more colors into our scene 
to start feeling the epicness or the scale of it. But I want to highlight a difference in these fake lights with and without the volumetric fog. Let's get back to the camera, go to volumetric fog, and notice how big is the difference. It's significant to have volumetric fog in your scene. Also, we have other settings in the fake lights or the bounce lights themselves as a source light that are related to the volumetric fog. Let's get back to the fake lights. Notice this one, it has like more effect on the volumetric fog. That's because this option, which is volumetric scattering intensity. I set it to 30, which is a lot, but I wanted to exaggerate the effect of the volumetric intensity. So if I'm going to set it to one, which is the default number, now it's looking very flat and you don't feel the depth of it. So I'm going to set it back to 30. I maybe even try like 100. Now it's very, very bright. And now it's set to 30. Let's set it to 200 just to get a better look at it. I'll disable mega lights and see how this option affects the environment. Now you can see the fog is cutting through the objects and it's not casting any shadows on it. Now if I enable this option, you notice a more of light shafts or this light specifically looks deeper. Now notice it before and after, that's before it's not casting any volumetric shadow and it's going through all of the objects and that's totally bad. So casting volumetric shadow is very essential for such lights. Let's disable the mega lights as well and now get it back to 30. Now it's more subtle, but we still lack a lot of depth in the environment. Still a bit flat as well. I don't have any folk cards or folk sheets to add more depth to the environment. So let's get start with the fog cards. For the fog cards, I use easy fog because it has a lot of texture variations and it's easy to control. So I'm almost using it with all of my projects. Let's start with showcasing the difference before and after. Now it adds more depth to the environment, especially looking at this one. I feel that this object is very huge. That's why it has like fog behind it. So fog cards make the environment feel a bit more cinematic. The overusing of fog guards or misusing them will make your environment look more flat. So you have to be aware while you are using them. Let's get an example with this fog guard so you can control the density of it to make it more realistic. And the blending with the objects could be controlled as well using this option, which is geometry fading distance. So yeah, that's the difference before and after using book cards. But still we have one more last option, which is the God rays. I'm using a blueprint. As you can see, it's basically like a texture, which is styled and you can control the opacity of it, the color, the contrast, to have it more contrasty like that, or more blended like this, the fade as well, to fade it with the objects around it, and the scale or the tiling scale to decide how many like light shafts you want with your object. And basically these kind of folk cards are used to add more depth instead of using actual light sources, which could be more challenging to get the same look with fake lights or light sources. So let's recap with and without the fog cards and the fog sheets, the fake lights and the exponential height fog. So this is without the fake lights and without the exponential height fog. These are only fog cards and fog sheets. It's a bit weird when they are added on their own, but with actual light sources, they start to look more blended, but still they are very flat. That's because of the lack of the exponential height fog, which gives the environment better cinematic look. And at the end, I want to show you a console command that will help you a lot to get more sharp and crisp look of your volumetric fog. This console variable is r.volumetricfog.gridpixelsize. 
it says the current value is eight, which is the default. And the less the number, the higher the resolution of the fog voxels, which means it will be a lot heavier on your GPU. So take care of it. Don't set it to one or two, except if you have a very high graphics card. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because 80% of the viewers are not subscribers. So hit the subscribe button and like the video and see you next time.